this. There we go. So yes, tonight we are going to be working the chakras. We're going to be doing a meditation to bring up the energy of Mother Gaia and eventually work our way to bring down energy from source to activate and cleanse and energize our chakras and ultimately create a um, orb of energy around us. This uh, meditation uh, is it's going to be length, kind of lengthy. I'm not going to say it's going to be like hours or anything like that, but it is one that you can do on your own. It is very simple and you can 100% shorten it or lengthen it to whatever you feel that you need. Uh, you can, you know, like start your day off and, and do just a quick, you know, run of energy up and down through your chakras and create your, or, your, your orb of protection. Or you can take, you know, a nice long hot Epsom salt bath and spend that entire time running this kind of meditation through your chakras. So it really depends on what you need at the moment. Um, but it really, you know, it, it's very relaxing yet very energizing. Um, so, you know, very, very simply, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something on and make sure that it, that you guys can hear it because this is my first time. Is everybody muted? Can sound. everybody mute? Yes, everyone should mute. Oh, shoot. Everyone should mute and... Can can you guys hear the singing bowl? Hang on, let me go back to you because I can't see you. Can, can you all hear the singing bowl? Yeah, got that? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, that's just for a little bit of relaxation. And as we get started... You all can go ahead and you, know, you can close your eyes. Um, you can you can certainly keep them open if you want. Uh, obviously, closing your eyes is going to be a lot more relaxing. But if you think you might fall asleep, then uh, go ahead and keep your eyes open. Um, but get comfortable, relax your body. If you can, put your feet on the floor or if you're outdoors, put them on the ground. That's fantastic. If not, uh, you can just imagine that your feet are touching the ground, grounding you securely. Now I want you to just take a few nice, slow, deep cleansing breaths in. And with each exhale, blow out the stress, the worries, the challenges, any experiences today that have brought you stress that you're just having a hard time letting go of, let them all just, with every exhale, blow them out. Blow out, blow out, blow out super hard. Uh, and then I want you to just kind of focus on the heartbeat. Can you all hear the sound of the heartbeat? All right. So continue to just breathe and relax and feel the heartbeat and kind of get in sync with it a little bit and let it bring you down. This isn't a journey type of meditation. It's just a meditation to activate, cleanse, and energize your chakras, increase the flow of energy, your life force through your chakras. So you don't have to close your eyes. I just find it more relaxing and it helps you to kind of visualize as we go through this meditation. Now I want you to send down from the bottom of your feet roots, roots or a grounding cord from the bottom of your feet down through the layers of the earth. Here, if you can, the roots crunching, going through each layer of dirt, rocks, caves, shale, clay, and water, all the way down to the center, to the heart of Mother Gaia. 
and just relax now and breathe normally. Enjoy the relaxing embrace of being so deeply grounded and supported by Mother Gaia. Feel her heartbeat. Feel it coming up through that cord. Feel her coming up into you. We're going to do some deep breathing. And each breath in, we're going to bring up, up through your right leg, the energy from Mother Gaia through that root, that grounding cord that you've sent down. We're gonna bring that energy up to your chakra. And then each exhale, we're gonna do a nice, long, strong, deep exhale to send the energy back down deep into Mother Gaia, down your left leg to be cleansed. Send that energy right down into her to cleanse away. You can, if you want to, choose a color to help you visualize the energy of Mother Gaia. Maybe you want to see her energy as green or, or brown coming up or a copper color. Whatever resonates you with you to help you if you are visual and want to not only feel but picture her energy coming up through that cord to your chakra. Now I want you to take a nice, slow, deep breath in drawing from the heart of Mother Gaia the energy up your right leg and into your root chakra. Feel the energy rise up and let her energy light up the red and activate your root chakra. And just simply feel that. And exhale slowly down your left leg, slow and steady, and let the energy flow between you and Mother Gaia. Take another slow, deep breath in, and again, drawing up the energy from the heart of her up to your root chakra. And let her cleansing energy swirl around your root chakra allowing her to absorb any negative thoughts and emotions you may be holding here. And then as you exhale, send that energy back down your left leg, sending those negative thoughts and emotions down, sending it back down into Mother Gaia for her to cleanse. Let her take that for you. Take one more deep breath in, up your right leg up to your root chakra, now glowing red and vibrant. And again, allow the energies of Mother Gaia to swirl around your root chakra, allowing her to release any and all stagnant energy. Then a nice, long, slow exhale again. Again, send that energy down your left leg, deep down all the way down to Mother Gaia to be released and cleansed. Now on your next deep breath in, draw energy up again from the heart of Mother Gaia up your right leg. And this time we're going to bring her energy up to your sacral chakra, letting Mother Gaia's energy light up the orange and activate your sacral chakra. Exhale slowly and steadily and let the energy flow down your left leg and just let the energy flow and feel it between you and Mother Gaia. Take another slow deep breath in and again drawing up the energy from her heart up to your sacral chakra and let her cleansing energy swirl around your sacral, allowing her to absorb any negative thoughts, beliefs, emotions, or traumas you may be holding here. And as you exhale, send that energy down your left leg, sending those negative thoughts and beliefs and emotions, experiences, all you don't want to be holding any longer. 
send it back down deep into Mother Gaia for her to cleanse. Take one more deep breath in up your right leg. Feel her energy up, up to your sacral chakra, now glowing orange and vibrant. And again, allowing her energies to swirl around your sacral chakra, allowing her to release any and all stagnant energy. And then one more slow exhale, sending that energy down your left leg, deep down into the earth to be released and cleansed. And as you take your next deep breath in, again, drawing from the heart of Mother Gaia, feel her heartbeat, feel the energy, bring it up your right leg, up into your solar plexus chakra, letting her energy light up the yellow and activate your, <clears throat> excuse me, solar plexus chakra. Feeling the energy Exhaling slow and steady down your left leg and let the energy flow between you. Take another slow, deep breath in and again drawing up her energy, the energy up from her heart, up to your solar plexus, letting her cleansing energy swirl around your solar plexus chakra, allowing her to absorb any negative thoughts are your thoughts of not being enough. I'm not good enough. Let her absorb any that you may be holding on to here. And as you exhale, send that energy down your left leg, sending those negative thoughts and beliefs about yourself, sending it be back deep down into Mother Gaia for her to cleanse. Taking one more deep breath in up your right leg, up to your solar plexus, now glowing yellow and vibrant, and again, allowing her energies to swirl around, swirling around your solar plexus, allowing Mother Gaia to release any and all stagnant energy. Then another long, slow exhale, sending that energy down your left leg, deep down to Mother Gaia to be released and cleansed. Inhale again and bring that cleansing, secure energy from the earth up your right leg, all the way up to your heart chakra. Letting the energy of Mother Gaia light up the green and activate your heart chakra. Exhale slow and steady down your left leg feeling the energy flow between your heart, down your chakras, all the way through down to Mother Gaia. Take another slow, deep breath in and again, drawing up her energy up to your heart chakra and letting her cleansing energy swirl around, swirling, cleansing, purifying your heart chakra, allowing Mother Gaia to absorb any negative thoughts and emotions you may be holding here. And as you exhale, send that energy down your left leg, sending those negative thoughts and emotions down, sending it back down deep all the way into Mother Gaia for her to cleanse, leaving it there. Take one more deep breath in, up your right leg, up to your heart chakra, now glowing a vibrant vibrant green and again allowing her energies to swirl around your heart allowing her to release any and all stagnant energy and then another long slow steady exhale sending energy down your left leg back down to mother Gaia to be released and cleansed and now we'll do another deep breath in and we'll bring that energy of Mother Gaia up to our throat chakra. Letting her energy light up the beautiful vibrant blue of our throat chakra. Feeling the energy flow. Exhale slowly and steadily down your left leg and let the energy flow between you and Mother Gaia. Feel the energy stream. Take another slow, deep breath 
and again drawing up the energy from the heart of her up to your throat chakra letting her cleansing energy move and swirl around allowing her to absorb any negative thoughts any emotions anything in your throat chakra that you feel may be holding you back and as you exhale send all of that down along with the energy down your left leg send those negative thoughts send those blocks all of those emotions send it back down deep into mother gaia for her to cleanse take one more deep breath in up your right leg up to your throat chakra now glowing a beautiful blue vibrant and again allowing mother gaia's energies to swirl around your throat chakra allowing her to release release any stagnant energy and then on, on your long slow exhale send that stagnant energy down your left leg down into mother gaia to be released and cleansed take another nice slow deep breath in drawing up the energy all the way up your right leg all the way up through the chakras straight up to your third eye let the energy of mother gaia light up that deep indigo of your third eye let it activate and energize and feel her heartbeat feel that throbbing that heartbeat that you hear feel it in your third eye and let it throb with her energy exhale slowly down your left leg and let that energy just continue to flow through you and mother gaia take another slow deep breath in and again drawing up the energy from the heart of her up to your third eye and let her cleansing energy swirl around your third eye allowing her to absorb any negative thoughts and emotions any doubts any traumas you may be holding here any blocks and as you exhale send that down send that energy carrying those negative emotions and thoughts and blocks down into mother Gaia for her to cleanse and as you take one more deep breath in up your right leg up to your third eye now glowing that deep dark indigo allow her energies to swirl around and release any and all stagnant energy another long slow exhale to send that stick stagnant energy deep down into mother Gaia and one more time another nice deep slow breath in drawing from the depths from the center from the heart of mother Gaia up your right leg and all the way all the way to the top to your crown chakra and as the energy of mother Gaia hits your crown chakra turns a vibrant bright violet and activates your crown exhale slowly and steady and allow the energy to flow down your left leg back down into mother Gaia and just sit and enjoy that energy for a moment as you exchange energy with mother Gaia from your feet all the way up all the way up to your crown and as you take another slow deep breath in again drawing up the energy from her up to your crown let her cleansing energy swirl around your crown feel it feel her swirling feel the energy allowing her to absorb any negative thoughts and emotions you may be holding here and as you exhale send that energy down your left leg sending those negative thoughts and emotions sending it back down into mother Gaia for her to cleanse and as you take one more deep breath in up your right leg 
up to your root chakra. I'm sorry, up to, up to your crown chakra. Now glowing purple and vibrant. And again, allowing her energies to swirl around your crown, allowing her to release any and all stagnant energy. And as you exhale again, a long, slow, powerful exhale, send that stagnant energy down your left leg, deep down into Mother Gaia to be released and cleansed. As we know that we cannot send too much into Mother Gaia, she will continue to cleanse all that we need cleansed and purified. And now that we have brought Mother Gaia's energy up into every chakra, allowing her energy to activate and cleanse, I want you to picture and feel, if you can, all of your chakras, vibrant, aligned, and feel the refreshing flow of energy through them from your root all the way up to your crown, continuing to allow the flow of energy up through the roots that you've planted from the heart of Mother Gaia. All chakras in alignment. Picture the vibrant red root in alignment with the orange, the glowing orange sacral. Now in alignment with that bright yellow solar plexus, perfectly aligned with the radiance of the green heart, the bright, bright blue of the throat chakra. And again, perfectly aligned with the deep indigo third all the way up to the crown. And now that we've reached the crown chakra and it's activated and cleansed with energy from Mother Gaia, I want you to feel, picture your crown opening and a golden cord emerging, extending from your crown chakra all the way up as far as the eye can see and beyond. Let it tap into the powerful energies of source, the pure white light energy. Take a deep, slow breath in and feel, feel the pureness of that energy. Take another deep, slow breath in and draw down that cord, the pure, white light energy from source. Draw it down into your crown chakra, allowing the energy from source to amplify the energy of your crown chakra. And as you exhale, we aren't going to send it anywhere like we did with the energy with Mother Gaia. We're going to keep it. We're going to allow that pure white light energy to swirl around our crown chakra and purify purifying we're balancing and we are energizing and that purification is removing everything that no longer serves you feel your crown buzzing with the power and purification the pure energy that source provides on your next inhale bring that pure white light energy down down into your third eye chakra allowing the pure white energy to penetrate and energize your third eye. As you exhale, allow that pure source energy to swirl. It swirls around and around, cleansing, purifying, balancing and energizing, removing everything that no longer serves you. On the next slow breath in, we're going to bring that pure white source energy down into our throat chakra, feeling the implication, amplification of your throat chakra as the pure white energy penetrates, permeates, completely opens. And as you exhale, Allow the pure white light to swirl around your throat chakra, purifying, energizing, balancing, and removing everything that no longer serves you. Feel your throat chakra free, lively, and balanced from the purification and energy.
provided by this pure energy. Inhale deeply again, drawing down again that pure white source energy. And I'm going to say that a lot because I want you to really feel it and see it. I want you to feel that white energy entering down. And we're going to enter down into, we're going to go down your shoulders, down your neck, down your shoulders, down your arms, down to the palms of your hands as that energy cleansing, energizing, purifying until you feel or see or sense that pure energy from source radiating from the palms of your hands. Why don't you go ahead and take a breath or two here, allowing yourself to feel the energy radiate from your palms. You may feel them pulsate. You may feel the heat from it. You may even see the pure light radiating from the palms of your hands. On your next inhale, draw in that pure white source energy down from that golden thread, pass down through the crown, through the third eye, through the throat, now all activated, purified, energized and aligned and draw that source energy into your heart chakra, the center of your being, allowing this great pure energy to completely penetrate and surround your heart chakra, activating, energizing, feeling the power of it, feeling the purification. On your exhale, allow that pure source energy to swirl and dance around your heart chakra. Feel it dance, feel the happiness of the dance, allowing the pure source energy to swirl, purifying, purifying, purifying everything, energizing, balancing, and washing away anything that no longer serves you. And now you feel your heart strong, pure, clear, balanced, and energized, aligned all by the pure power of source energy. Inhale deeply again, drawing the pure white light of source down into your solar plexus, allowing this divine energy to enter your solar plexus, filling it with pure white light, activating, energizing, comforting, reassuring. And as you exhale, the pure white light source swirls around your solar plexus, purifying, energizing, balancing, washing away all that no longer serves you. Feel your solar plexus strong and confident, balanced and aligned. On your next inhale, draw down that energy, that pure white energy down into your sacral chakra feeling the power of source energy activating your sacral. And as you exhale, pure white light energy swirls and dances around your sacral, purifying, energizing, balancing, igniting your creative fire and washing away all that no longer serves you. Your sacral chakra feels radiant, strong, balanced, and aligned. Inhale deeply again and bring down that source energy all the way down, down, down to your root chakra, allowing the pureness of the energy from source to penetrate your root, feeling such a sudden sense of security and trust. And as you exhale, pure white source energy swirls around the vibrant red root chakra, purifying, balancing, stabilizing, deepening your roots of security and removing all that no longer serves you. On your next inhale, 
bring that pure white light energy from source down. Bring it down all the way through all of your chakras, crown, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, root, and keep going down, down both legs. Let the energy purify all the way down to the soles of your feet until you feel the pure energy radiating from the soles of your feet. And much like the palms of your hands, you might feel the bottoms of your feet pulsate. You may feel them get hot. You might feel them get cold. You might physically see the white light radiating from your feet. And here, the energy from source meets and intermingles with the energy from Mother Gaia. What a team. They swirl and dance around one another. They wrap around, creating a stream of energy so powerful and energizing. And as you take your next slow, deep breath in, a big deep breath in, bring that energy of Mother Gaia and Source up through all of your chakras. Source and Mother Gaia together. One at a time, let them hit your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, your heart, your throat, your third eye, your crown, and feel the energy stream created. Feel that strong life force that just came up through your entire chakra system. And now allow that stream to flow down your spine and circle around and go right back up your chakras. Again, root to sacral, to solar plexus, to heart, to throat, to third eye, to crown. And each time you do that, and you run that combination of energy up through your chakras that have been aligned and cleansed and activated and energized, that energy is going to get stronger and stronger. Now you may at this point, oops, sorry, I saw somebody's light come on. <laughs> You may at this point um, decide that you have work that you want to do where you want your chakras to be completely ramped up like this. Or you may decide that you want to now relax and shut things down and holy cow, I'm totally, totally amped up. And we're amped up. If you are amped up, it's because we've really just built your life force energy through your line chakras. We've done that with, with the energy of source. We've done that with the energy of Mother Gaia. We've integrated both and created a powerhouse of energy to completely activate and energize our chakras. The number of times you send that energy stream back up your chakras and down your spine is completely up to you. It's a personal decision. You may say, this feels great. I want to keep doing it and keep building more energy. Not something I would necessarily say, let's not shut down before bed because it can build a lot of energy. Uh, so the next step that we would do is to bring some of the energy back down. Now, before we do that, as you have this energy so built up, you can see it, you can feel it. You can take this energy and you can allow it to expand beyond your physical body. You have the energy running through of source, of Gaia, of you, of every chakra, and it's already creating a natural orb around your physical body. And each time you take a deep breath, you can picture that orb getting larger and surrounding a larger area around your body and extend it for as far as you would like. You also may keep it close to your body and use this as your bubble of protection. Protection from wrongdoing from anybody, protection from other people's energies, from absorbing other people's energies. You can leave that 
orb there as powerful as you want or as big as you want and or you can simply call it right back into yourself typically into your heart chakra and now because we can't just keep going on running energy forever here we are going to bring the energy back down and this is the simplest part of things to do this we simply stop sending the energy up the chakras we stop the energy flow and you can take a nice deep breath bring calm to yourself a bit more and start at your crown chakra and quite simply visualize sense or feel you closing down your crown chakra and stopping the energy flow and down to your third eye chakra visualize sense feel turning down or turning off your third eye down to your throat throat chakra sense see or feel turning down or off your throat chakra down to your heart chakra sense feel see yourself turning down or turning off your heart chakra down to your solar plexus sense see feel yourself turning down or turning off your solar plexus chakra to your sacral chakra sense see or feel yourself turning down or turning off your sacral chakra and to your root chakra sense see or feel yourself turning off your root chakra and when the energy flow has stopped, you may simply call your roots back up from Mother Gaia, your thread back down from Source, and allow yourself a few relaxing, cleansing breaths to reorient yourself to your natural energy flow. should feel a bit more relaxed and aligned your chakras should be balanced and cleansed and hopefully you all feel in alignment to a good place for yourselves. And if you've done this with your eyes closed, you may now open them. And bring yourself back. How was that for you, Anna? Well, um, I felt the top of my head while well, it tingled, and I do get that a lot when I work with the crown chakra. Um, and um, <clears throat> the going down the left leg thing, that's really interesting because conscious creator near the end of when I do self Reiki yeah 
that leg all feels it. Oh, isn't that interesting? Isn't that weird? Yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah. When you said that for this meditation, I thought, huh. <laughs> interesting. And, yeah. and, the way, and the way that you feel it. Yeah, yeah. That is interesting. Huh, well, you know, I, you can take that then as, you know, letting that be your release. Release whatever it is that you're taking on and re send that down. You can certainly do that consciously, uh, you know, as, as you're working with somebody else, you can indeed consciously send energy down to Mother Gaia that is not yours, energy that's not yours to be taking on or that isn't serving you, most definitely. Good. All right. Well, interesting. And everyone else is quiet. We're not sure if that's good or bad, but how was that for you, Barbara? That's from the stress of me not feeling good is so much lighter. Good. It, it was great. <laughs> Thank good. you. Good. You're welcome. You're welcome. It is. It is meant to be very cleansing and uh, purifying and activating. And as I said at the beginning, um, you can do this on your own, and it doesn't have to be this long. You can certainly shorten it. You can shorten the breaths that you take in and the time that you need to cleanse and release you know, work more in one chakra or, or less on others as you need them. But it's kind of a good baseline. And I think that a, a lot of people don't learn enough about how to really balance and cleanse their own chakras on a regular enough basis and to kind of release some of the pent up energy, you know, beyond somebody doing it for us. And a lot of us are energy workers. So we do it for other people sometimes more than we do it for ourselves. And, um, sometimes coming up with new ideas or new ways to release for ourselves is a good thing. You know, right, Anna? <laughs> yeah, release for yourself. So yeah, I do need to remember that. Yeah, we well, we all do. And that's why I thought, well, maybe it'll be a good idea to do this because our focus is always on whoever it is that we're working with and not on ourselves. And because we do know, we, we do know the protocols, we do know energy work, we do, and for everybody, we're good, we've got this, but sometimes we do forget to take the time to stop and do what we need to do for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I said, you can do it simply, you can do it, you can do it sitting in your car and, and you know, take five minutes to do a quick, you know, chakra run um, and, and, you know, run that energy. Um, even if you don't feel that you need clearing and you just need, you know, energy amped up for something and you really want those chakras really open and active, blow that energy through and let it run and just keep circling it down through, up and down through for as many times as you need to. It's a good way to build kundalini energy as well to run the, the energy up like that. Um, but it's, it's always good to bring it back down to unless you want to stay ramped up, you're going to go run a marathon or you're, you know, the beginning of your work day and you're like, I need this, you know, you can keep running it, but we obviously don't want to exhaust things, but anyways, yeah. There so we... can you hear me? Cause I, I unmuted myself. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, it was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. Good. It's been a bit challenging because not only my feelings, but the, uh, she's a new roommate so I don't know her schedule and she came home and she she's trying to make up by talking to me and <laughs> she, she threw a big thing of bananas at me and I said no no I don't want them I try to show her that I'm doing class so anyways so <laughs> that was a little bit of an interruption I do like her though her energy but anyway so I'm also feeling a little bit of anxiety because I normally try to adjust around my roommates and I got a bunch of laundry going. So part of me wanted to just jump up and go deal with that. And I had to force myself to say, no, it can wait. It can wait. It's not a long time and an hour, but I, other than that, yeah, yeah. that's like, I've done that kind of meditation before it's very familiar to me it's very similar and it just totally works like it you it it's does. just so easy to visualize right yes yes yeah yeah and it's it's yeah. it's so easy and it's so underrated and that's why i thought it would be good to, to kind of bring it to the table for everyone because yeah. 
you know, people that I that I bring it to that are, you know, kind of having a challenging time with things are like, wow, how come, you know, I, I've never done this before? Well, because, I mean, it's simple and a lot of people know it, but yet a lot of people don't because it is so simple that it's not something yeah. that's brought out there a whole lot. So I'm glad to bring it. I was actually uh, part of a, a, I didn't go a lot. I didn't take a formal course, but I used to go, there was a center for, and it was like psychic, psychic uh -huh. work. Uh -huh. And they're actually based in Washington, but they did have a place in Vancouver where I live. And they used to do the running of energy. So I really, that was new for me then, but I really liked it then. This is a long time ago. So to do it today was very much clicking into that. Good, good. Yeah, it was good. familiar. Well, that a good reminder and um, the video will be up so you can obviously always go back to yeah. it, but again it's it is so simple um that yeah. you don't even necessarily need to go back to the video i mean obviously sometimes hearing somebody do it for you to follow along with can really kind of almost make you do it a little bit more i guess you yeah. know to take the commitment to turn it on and listen to it and get yourself relaxed so you know there is the benefit of that rather than just sitting and doing it yourself but again so simple absolutely you can do it yourself anywhere at any time i have one more thing to say for feedback i loved your voice oh, because you. 80 to 90 percent of people doing meditations and things have a sort of a certain kind of voice which is fine i understand it very soothing oh. very soft like a like I know I mean it's like what they're used to and they just kick into it and sure that's very nice but I like that your voice wasn't like that I like that your voice was strong and feisty oh, and it was still relaxing but it, it wasn't that that cliche voice so thank you well you're welcome I'm, I'm glad you like I always hate hearing my voice somewhere I mean and I think that a lot of us feel that way we see ourselves or hear ourselves and we're like oh my god is that really what I sound like or what I look like um but you know everybody hears it differently we all hear ourselves differently so thank you I appreciate that very authentic all right well I will then um stop the recording here <laughs> if I can do it right can I, can I